Let's start adding more details to this 3D bottle shape. But before that, we'll select the bottle and hide it. Now, zoom into this area and we will make a surface for this area. And for that, I'll select this spline and trace its outlines. You don't need to be very precise in this case also. And you can make a rough sketch as I'm making right now. Okay. Now let's move this endpoint a little bit downwards and here we have it. Now let's go to the line tool and make a straight line. And we need to turn on this polar option and we can trim the extra edges or extra part here. So let's trim both of these parts. Now let's remove this line also. This is no longer required. And now we need to make this shape on the other face also. So let's go to this top view and here we can see this from a different view. So we'll select this drop down and change our coordinates to view. Now let's orbit this drawing a little bit to see the shape more clearly. And here we have it. Now select this origin option and move our origin to any of the endpoints. So select this object snap option and click on any of these endpoints of this spline. Okay. Let's go to this top view again. And now once again, I'll turn off this polar tracking option and select the spline tool. Now click on any of these endpoints and now make a similar spline shape on this plane as well. So just like this and press enter and we will convert this shape into surface. So here we have it. But before converting that, we need to move this geometry. So let's now select this end object isolation and bring the 3D solid. And with reference to this 3D solid, we'll place our spline shape properly. So right now we can see that a spline is currently inside this solid and we need to move it on the edges or the sides of this bottle. So let's now hide it once again. And let's orbit our drawing. And let's hide this image also. We don't need it now. And now go to this and drop down and select this loft tool and select this is spline and this is spline. So since our drawing is an open 2D profile, it will make a surface from our geometry. And here we have it, the surface as per our requirement. And now we'll move it on the boundary of our bottles. For that, we'll bring the bottle by selecting this end object isolation option. And let's select this surface and we are not able to select it. So I'll change the visual style to wireframe. Now select the surface and let's move it outside. So select the move tool and click at any point. And if this message appears, select this continue option from this message and now move it on the right side. You can also select this polar tracking option and move it just like this. Okay, now let's select it once again, go to the move tool again and move it a little bit downwards just like this. And we'll now move it a little bit inside this shape or this 3D bottle. And here we have it. Now let's orbit this drawing and now we'll move it on the other side of this bottle. And for that, we'll first change the visual style to X-ray to see it more clearly. And now select this left view and let's zoom out a little bit and select this view and select this view option. Now select the move tool, select the surface, press enter and now move it on this side of the 3D bottle. And let's click here. And we'll also rotate this shape a little bit. And for that, I'll select this shape. Now go to this gizmo drop down and select this rotate gizmo option. Now click on this grip and move it on this base point. So this will be the base point. Now select this red axis and now rotate it to approximately this angle. Now select the move tool and click anywhere in the drawing area. And now let's move this drawing. Let's turn off this polar option 
and move it in this way. Now you only need to ensure that this surface crosses the complete 3D shape from both the ends. So when you'll zoom into this area, you'll see that it is completely crossing the 3D solid and it should cross and on the top also it's crossing. So now let's orbit this drawing to see whether we have it properly placed or not. And yes, we have it. This surface is properly crossing the 3D solid from all sides. Now we'll make an array from this surface. So let's now orbit this drawing. Let's select the array tool. Once again, the polar array. Now select the surface and press enter. Now select this axis of rotation option and once again we'll select the off axis by selecting the center point so select this object snap click on this center point and now you can click at any point in this direction or you can also click upwards at any point and now in number of items enter four and press tab or enter key and here again you need to ensure that this associative option is unchecked and now close the array. Let's orbit this drawing to see it more clearly. Okay, and now we will slice the geometry. So let's change our visual style to uh, something more visible and hidden is not quite visible. So we'll possibly change it to some other visual style. Let's change it to conceptual. And yes, it is now visible, properly visible. So let's go to the slice tool and now select this 3D solid, press enter and now select the surface option and click on this surface and press enter again. Now we have this geometry divided into two parts and when you'll select this portion, you'll see that it is selected separately. In a similar way, we can slice all the remaining part of this 3D solid and here we have it. Now I've sliced all the remaining parts of this 3D solid in a similar way and now you can select any one of the surface then right click select this sim select similar option this will select all the surfaces and now hide them. Now you can delete all of these solid shapes one by one so select them and erase them. Orbit this drawing a little bit and select the remaining solids and let's erase them as well. And now we can apply fillet on the sharp corners of this solid. So for applying the fillet, we need to first zoom into this area and let's now go to this solid tab. Select the fillet edge tool and now select the radius option. And here also we'll apply the radius approximately. So I'll turn off all the status bar options and now click at two points in the drawing area to specify the radius so that will be the first point and here is the second point so this will be the approximate radius size and now select the loop option and click on any of these edges and here we have it the highlighted loop now press enter twice to accept the fillet value and in a similar way we'll apply the fillet on all of these four 3d grooves so in this way we have added more details to this 3D solid. So in the next video we'll add more details and prepare our drawing for 3D rendering.